So Abdullah, what does incorporating security in SDLC look like? Right. So, uh, what does SDLC mean? It's, it essentially means that uh, your application, once it's actually running in production, uh, it is a set of uh, artifacts that are deployed and they work together. Um, uh, and and uh, building of those artifacts could be as complex, uh, essentially in involving different stages. So you have a design stage, you have a, a proofread stage, you have a deployment stage, testing stage, validation stage, and all of these different stages of these individual artifacts. And each of those artifacts could be different services. And collectively, when they talk to each other, uh, there is a lot of moving parts that happen. Uh, a very common uh, so framework that is uh, used in these sort of things is the stride model. So what stride model uh, essentially does is it threat models the application at uh, each of its life cycle. And if you have multiple moving pieces, then you essentially uh, apply a stride model to each of those artifacts. Uh, and what does this stride model look like? So stride essentially means spoofing, tampering, uh, so spoofing resistance, which means you, uh, authentication has to have the right controls, temper resistance, then repudiation so that non-repudiation can happen. Uh, I is essentially information disclosure. Uh, that means, and then uh, essentially d denial of service and elevation of privileges. These are all models and there are different tools that exist out there that allow you to actually threat model your application and if you threat model all of the artifacts of your application that are required to uh, for it to function then you overall have a stride model uh, threat model on the whole of your application